Today is a very, very exciting day because we are going to tour one of the biggest projects in Cebu. This whole project, the New Star Resort and Casino Cebu, it's the first integrated resort, meaning meron siyang malls, meron siyang casino, meron siyang hotels, five star and six star. Meron siyang convention center. The convention center is the biggest in Cebu. So it doubles as an event space. And not only that, grabe yung engineering dito because this whole thing was built during the pandemic and it only took two and a half years to build. Ako, mismo contractor ako. And I know that is an amazing feat. Typically, a small house takes about two years to build. So to give you perspective kung gaano kahirap yan, We'll be talking about that today, but, 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 not only that, I've been here a few times. Promise nila sa akin ngayon is they're going to show me secret places and never seen before areas that have yet to be announced to the public. So New Star pala is a six star hotel and Philly Hotel is a five star hotel. Pero if you notice that little bump outside the New Star logo, Pupunta tayo dun. That's what they call the sky deck. So sneak peek tayo dun and many, many other areas. So before we actually take a look inside the project, nandito tayo sa outdoor area. Alfresco area to ng mga restaurants around the area and it's facing the beautiful view of CC Lakes. But not only that, mas may mga beautiful guests tayo dito ngayon. Kasama natin si Engineer uh, Ronald Paolo. He's the head of construction for this entire project. So he's the man behind making this project work in just two and a half years. I'll ask a lot more questions about that later on. But nandito din si architect Albert Yu of Asia Architects. They've been working with Robinson's Land for a long, long time, 20 something years. 25 years. 25 years. That goes to show kung gaano kagaling si architect, especially on a scale of this magnitude. Architect, how did this project come about? How was it approached to you? And how do you wrap your head around such a massive, massive project? Actually, it all started 2017 with a company and vision to build a 9.7 hectare property here in SRP Cebu. They plan to design something, an integrated resort with 1,000 key of hotel rooms, casino of 22,000 square meter, a convention center, and mall and the theater as their component. So, kumpleto to lahat. Everything you want would be in this area. And then, yung vision mo, kailangan ipasa dito. <laughs> to Ronald. <laughs> so, how does that come about? Kasi alam ko, in a lot of projects, nag aaway away yung architect and engineer kasi yung vision ni architect hindi ma-achieve ni engineer or yung engineer naman ako engineer din ako palagi ko sasabihin ang, ang hirap naman ng ginagawa mo in uh, architect for me no collaboration is always a challenge especially with the magnitude of this project this big because architecture or design is subjective the beauty is in the eye of the beholder right you want to know my secret zero in the ego and pride tama tama yeah Everybody have idea. Everybody magaling. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Engineer, this area is a reclaimed area. Not only that, you were building in the middle of the pandemic. And not only that, you're building such a massive, massive scale. How did you go about finishing this in two and a half years? Well, basically, when we started this project, the strategy really was to you know, make everything inclusive in terms of preparedness as well. Mm. That's why at the onset, we made sure that we have enough facilities to house our workers mm. so that they did not go outside and commute to their workplace every day. Mm. So before the pandemic, we already had enough facilities for more than 7,000 workers. So mm. when the pandemic hit, these workers were stationed here at the site. So after we satisfy the safety and the sanitation requirements of the government they allowed us to you know to continue the work wow yeah so yeah at the peak of this project we had like 6000 to 7000 workers wow <laughs> obviously you know the workers need work the suppliers the contractors they need to be paid so we kept on so that's the reason why during the pandemic we poured more than 200000 cubic meters of concrete wow how do you manage all of those people and all of those moving parts at the same time? Well, well the key really is uh, organize yourself in terms of management. We were supported by our president and CEO mm. that for this project, it's the first time that we use our own resources to manage construction. Mm. Whereas before, we hired third party Contract. construction management companies. Ah. But this time, we hired our own Robinson's Land employees 
to manage the project for us. So the key really is you have enough, you know, adequate number of qualified people. Because at the end of the day, managing a big construction like that boils down to really solid, proper management. I'd like to ask you a lot more questions, but um, I'm excited also to take a look around on what New Star Resort and Casino has to offer. Not only that, Gusto ko sana makakadating ba tayo? We're going there. That's Pupunta ba tayo? That would be the last stop of this interview. <laughs> so that guys is a bridge na glass yung baba and I don't know how I'm gonna feel about walking there pero sounds exciting. <laughs> Tara, let's go in! So engineer was mentioning na mayroon pala jetty dun that you can actually take a sunset cruise and parang pwede ka rin mag shortcut going to the airport. Uh, how did that come about? Well, obviously, we have to take advantage of this property. The massive advantage in terms of coastal area, right? Yes. We have like one kilometer length of uh, this sea around us. Ah, nice. So it's like a no-brainer to construct a jetty port. Obviously, it has its advantages. Oh. So some groups, like they take this set sunset tour, they eat here, then they stay in our hotel after. Nice. What a perfect experience, right? Then my boardwalk pa all around the property, yes. you know? So this boardwalk for the guests to enjoy, you know, the sea around it. Uh -oh. And it doubles up like a far truck alley as well. To tell the story about how the foundation is, we built in more than 1,000 board piles under wow. this building. 50 meters deep, about 1.5 to 2 meters diameter. So that's how stable this property is. Mm, yes. And other than that, because of that, we, we expected that there would be some pressure towards the outer of the property. So we put like stone columns, you know, around it to contain, you know, if there are surges later on. So at least the, 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 the land will still be there. Yeah, it goes to show kung gaano ka daming mga aspects when it comes to considering a project of this scale. You're talking about the safety, you're talking about the type of soil and how to address that right. and not only that but the coastal properties also on how to mitigate yung mga swells and everything. In yes. fact for this project you know we hired an engineer or structural engineer from Seattle because we want to have at par as international standard because safety is our top priority. Architect you were mentioning something about the facade and this wave that we see right here and looking at it when I'm driving from the road pa malayo pa alam ko na new star pa, because this can be seen from a long way out. Actually, the vision of our president here is to have something bold and distinct in form. If we talk about the, uh, the, the form or the facade of the building, no? it was heavily inspired by the nature context of this project. No? Mm. It's clearly shown that God is the greatest architect. So we take a cue from the sea. You look at the sea. No? We have the nature, calmness, and rhythmic elements of the sea. So was inspired for the undulating pattern mm. of the facade here. It's like moving art. Mm. When you walk around. Yes, especially when it's at night, we yes. can uh, mas ma emphasize pa lalo yung mga waves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. On the other side, we have cladding. Yes. We use high quality cladding and fold it into geometric forms. And then this form, from coming from the sun, it will create a solar play. Yeah, if I may add, you know, yeah. the designer would always require, you know, me, the, <laughs> as, as yeah. the, the constructor <laughs> to execute. So, how do we execute that? <laughs> So obviously, like this property is beside the sea, mm. subjected to a lot of corrosion, yes, a lot of actually. elements like the storm surges and everything. So we have to make sure that uh, we use products, materials that can withstand that. So everything here is built to be as massive and as luxurious as possible. So the moment you enter the resort, this is what you see. Welcome to my crib, guys. Pagpasok niyo sa crib ko. Ganito yung ceiling and every detail has been considered. Meron tong fountain dito and then makikita natin there's patterns everywhere. Everything is decked out in marble and I would say quality quality finishes. That's the high-end mall on the right, the casino right down the middle. And dito, this is actually my favorite strip. This is the dining and restaurant strip. So meron kang Il Primo, meron kang Mot 32. Meron kang Barcino that's newly opened and masarap talaga mga restaurants nila dito. We come here often to enjoy the food and the ambiance of the area. So tara, let's go to the food strip area. That's the first Mot 32 here in the Philippines. Sobrang sarap. Mahal pero sarap. So okay, uh, architect, what is this area? Uh, I call this area flight to experience because oh. we try to achieve is uh, we have an eight, almost 18 meter floor to floor height to allow our interior 
to do their elements here inside. Mm. That one will be the atrium area. Okay. This will be a premium mass gaming. And then that area, I see escalators. It's escalator. So this area is the main connection from the ground floor of the casino to the second floor casino. Ah, so there's going to be a second floor. There's casino. a second floor, mostly the junket rooms. The casino is over there, the one that's finished now. And then the food area would be here. Yeah, there are two food areas here. So when this is all completed, there's going to be one massive casino in the middle and it's surrounded by yeah. food everywhere. And the, the nice thing about the design is it, it has a racetrack effect. Yeah. Right. So you oh. go around. Like, yes, no dead end. Uh, oh. No dead end. I'm excited to see this when it's done. It seems like it's going to be super opulent and luxurious. Okay, guys, we're going to mga secret areas. So, kailan natin magpalit ng safety shoes. The areas that we're about to look at have never been documented before. So, it, this is a very, very special sneak preview of everything that this resort has to offer. The nice thing about that is yeah. three layers of panels. Yeah. Mm. Why? Because safety one, mm -hmm. second maintenance. Obviously, over time, the last layer will be, you know, subject to scratches, right? So okay. you can change so it. So you can, you can remove it. Ah, palitan mo lang. Yes. Galing, galing, galing. Ito yung napag-usapan natin kanina. This is called the sky deck. And if these two gentlemen are game to do it with me, lalakarin namin yan. Yeah. Sige, tara! Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> Our inspiration here is the Grand Canyon Skywalk. Yeah. You know, so in the future we expect like people crawling on the sides <laughs> instead of staying here. Yeah. Huh? There'll be a lot of obviously memorable experiences yeah. here it in the future. Feels like ano para kong drone. Tapos <laughs> ang liit ng mga tao. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and the, the glass here uh, is a laminated glass. So once it, yeah. something yeah. happens, it's still standing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Tapos ito sealant lang do, no? That's the sealant, structure. That's, that's gasket and then they put sealant. Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, you have the entire of Cebu view from here, no? Nakalimutan ko nang tumingin doon. Because our focus is here. Yeah. <laughs> so, when this is all done, this is going to be a bar area or just a specific thing for. You know what? Uh, it's uh, being discussed right now. We're finalizing it. But obviously, it will be open to the public. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And definitely, it will be something new. Yes. In the market, yeah. I'm sure. It's different when you're walking around na wala kang harness or anything else that is attached to something. Na parang, eh, lak lakad ka lang, na normal. Correct, correct. <laughs> so this is uh, practically outside of the building. It's yeah. sticking out, you know, 65 tons of steel oh, and, yeah, no. and uh, 12 tons of glass outside of the building. Yes, and it's, it's cantilevered out. I'm sure this is something that, you know, all the Cebuanos, the Visayans, the Bindanawans oh, will all be looking forward to. They'll be proud of this one. You have nothing like this in the integrated resorts in Metro Manila. Right? Oh. So now we can say that we can do it here. And uh, New Star's proven that it's the biggest integrated resort outside of Metro Manila. Everything's so massive, no? Are those just there to hold the glass? In Correct. Yes. Correct. Correct. You know, wind yeah. here is really strong. Yeah. We're just practically near the sea. But those are not designed just to be rigid. It has enough flexibility because, you know, buildings move, right? Yes. So it has to have enough uh, allowance for movement. Similar to like a precast system. No? That's right. That's, that's, that's right. right. That's right. So, ito na yun guys, the very top of New Star Resort and Casino. So, we're here now at the Philly Lobby. So, there's New Star and right beside it is the Philly Hotel. And Philly Hotel is the five-star hotel. And si New Star naman, six-star hotel. What is the difference? Ano bang pagkaiba ng five-star and leveling up to a six-star hotel? Number one is the room sizes. Ah. And then the amenities. So when it comes to finishes, I also noticed that there's a lot of expensive and fancy finishes. And how did you go about choosing elements that inspire you for the Philly Hotel? I think the interior design here tried to manage to make it a little bit more playful. Mm. Yeah. So they have played with the pattern, shade and color ah. to make it more interesting yeah. okay. and customer experience. Yeah. yeah. And also with technology, you'd be able to develop those patterns that are like, you know, pre-programmed before it's uh, delivered to the site. It's already pre-cut. Ah, so sakto na siya and it's exactly. just ready to install exactly. now. Every, wow. Everything here is done in factory. Yeah, yeah. So everything to be more precise. So that's why you were able to also accomplish this in such a small period. You know what? That's the immense importance of technology mm. and prefab and everything. Mm. Without that, if you do it the conventional way of doing everything on site, it you would really be impossible. Yeah. yeah. So currently, it's Philly that's operational. I think all the rooms here are ready na. And I've been able to visit 
one of the biggest rooms here. It's like 700,000 a night. How did that come about? 700,000, it's a complete room with meron siyang gym, meron siyang sauna, and meron siyang pool on the outside. What was the thought behind it? And bakit ganyan ka grabe? For an integrated resort, you want no opulence, right? Oh. Our target market, obviously, for integrated resort, demand excellence, demand the best products. So we have to offer them something that can compete with those in, in the integrated resorts in Metro Manila. Actually, it's differentiation. Yeah. <laughs> you have some, something that other people don't have. I was there, I was there. Na, you, when you go out your room, there's a pool, and then your pool is infinity pool na may view ka of the ocean and CC Lakes. Yeah. You know, the nice thing about this development is that we open in phases. Mm. So there's always something new for the customers to come for yes, in the future. Yes. So everything that come here, there's always something new. Oh. So uh, we deliberately held off a little bit on the open of New Star because we want to make sure there is something better than Philly. Mm. Because we Level obviously, up, uh. you know, establish a high measuring yardstick for New Star to be above it. Mm. Mm. So we have to be very careful in terms of detailing so that we offer something that's better than Philly. You know what I noticed about this entire project is that there's a lot more surprises to come. Like for example, when I first visited here, it was the casino and Mot 32 that was open. Ngayon si Philly, and then recently I came here, and dito na yung convention center, a very very big convention center. I think that's the biggest in Cebu. And then now, meron pa kayo mga surprises na pinapakita sa amin. Meron pa bang ibang secrets na to be announced for the future? Well, if there's uh, there are other secrets, you will be the first to know. Ah, <laughs> sige, sige. Gawin natin yun. <laughs> So that was a very interesting and very parang feeling ko VIP ako kasi nakikita ko yung mga spaces that you guys have been working on for the longest time and nakakapag sneak peek tayo. Thank you for your time, Architect. Thank you so Thank much. You. Architect uh, Albert Yu is one of the best architects here in the country and I'm sure si Engineer Ronald has a lot of projects under his belt. He's very, very busy. He has to catch a flight pa. But uh, we won't keep them for long and um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Engineer. Thank you. <laughs> that is actually the villas that are facing the ocean. Those are the premium, premium 700,000 pesos a night villa. So this is the Philly Hotel and right there is the new Star Hotel which will be open soon. But this has been a very, very exciting tour. I've been here a lot of times pero hindi ko nakikita yung mga secret places and everything that it will have in store in the future. So if you're ever around the area, please visit New Star Resort and Casino here in Cebu. And I'll see you later.